Hello? Yeah, hi. Um, I'm calling about your Craigslist posting. Uh, which one? Um, the the movie storage. Um, uh, do you still do you still have space? Yes, I still have it. Okay, great. Um, I'm when when am I able to bring the movies over? The movies over. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, I have a couple movies I don't want my mom catching me with. Um, I just wanted to see if I could store them there for a couple weeks. Oh no, I'm selling a movie storage. Oh, so you you can't actually? Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry. I uh, is there still any way? Um, I'll I'll buy it. Whatever. What were you selling? A movie storage case. Oh, okay. Well, that won't work. Um, is there any way? Um, I'll come buy that. But can I still leave the movies over there for just a couple weeks? They're um, they're just not something I want my mom to catch me with. You understand? You know. Uh, it depends. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a minister's wife. Oh, I'd like to buy that, and if you don't like the videos, um, you can just get rid of them, you know? I'll bring them over when I come buy the movie storage thing. Uh, what kind of movies are they? Like, um, Mills Gone Wild, and thought that you would store movies. I thought that that's what you did. I'm sorry. No, I don't store movies. Uh, um, I'm trying to sell uh, movie storage uh, containers, so then um, it needs a lock on it. I mean, it has a lock, but it just needs a key. Right, yeah, I know, I know, and I think that would just entice my mom more to look at that, and she can't find Mills Gone Wild or Anacondas 3 or anything like that. Like, I, I just need to get them out of the house. Do you, so do you, is there anywhere that I can store movies? Do you know of a place? I don't know of any kind of place. <sighs> Because, I mean, those movies wouldn't be bad, but she found Busty Wives 3. That, is, is there any way I can just hide them in your backyard or something? I they don't have a backyard. You know what? Speaking of which, you, you, you said you're a minister's wife, right? Yes. Okay, I'm not very religious, but, like, hiding these things, obviously it's bad and everything, but will I, will I go to hell for this? I mean, like, I mean, this is, might be embarrassing, but I mean, does like your your husband doesn't watch anything like that, does he? No, we don't. We don't watch any of that kind of stuff. Right. Um, we actually we don't even really watch rated R movies. Really. Yeah. So like we, uh, the only rated R movies that we have is Passion of the Christ. You guys like that movie? Uh, yes, uh, we watch it occasionally. I'm actually Jewish. Does that, do you hold anything against me? Like, for that? Because from what I understand, the Jews killed Jesus, right? And, yes, but you've got to understand, it had to be done. So, technically, I guess I could, I can watch these movies and, like, he, it's okay? He and, died for us to have, so that we would have a personal relationship with him. Right, so, like, if I prayed... Would you per, would he prefer I pray before, during, or after I watch the movies at all? I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. I'm new to God. Well, my advice is don't watch them at all. But if you had to watch them, what, what would you do? Would you pray before, during, or after? Like, uh, I know you, well, you pray before you pray dinner. Before is, if you prayed before you watched them, then your prayer would be useless. It would probably be pretty if vulgar. If you during it... <laughs> then you're just still spinning because you're watching it. Right, and I guess that'd be pretty embarrassing to talk to God while I was doing that, too. Um, so, definitely after. I was just, I, the only reason I was asking that is because I know you pray before you eat dinner, you know? So I was thinking oh, you, yes. you'd pray before you, you know, went to work on that. I know you, you said that you spent a lot of money on it. You know? Like a and, lot of money. Am I, is that a sin every time that's happening? Every time that you, uh... I, I, every time I, I watch the videos and do what I do. That, that, that is a sin. It's, uh, you're lusting. So I sin a lot. See, and so why can, how can God get over that? I mean, I sin, like, a lot. Like, three or four times a day, a lot. Okay, listen, you're human. God knows that. And he knows that occasionally we're going to fall. But he also expects us to try our best and not to do the things of the world. And then when you sit there and, uh, you know, I, you're going to, you know, you're young, you, you know, stuff like that happens, you know. 
Like what? And I'm, what do you mean? What happened? Okay. You're spending your personal time with yourself. But it's gonna happen. God knows. So it's, it's okay to do it, right? Have you made yeah, it? It's just not okay to uh to look at people, you know, why oh. you're or imagining people, you know, a certain person because you're doing it with luck. I just don't think of anything and I can do it though, right? If if I'm not less yeah. than Yes. What you basically were saying was I thought I was going to go to hell because I do do it like four times a day. But now if I don't lust, then I, I can do it. Okay. Yes, because you're not lusting after. I'm just going to throw them away. And, you know, the next time my mom catches me doing anything like that, I'll explain to her that God allows this type of thing. It's not lust when uh, you're doing your... Um, basically, I got, my mom caught me, and she, you know, thought there was a sin, but it was at that point, but next time I can tell her that I'm not lusting over anyone, and I think that's what she was getting at. I'm honestly relieved now that you've said that, because I'm going to go to town on that, you know, I just feel like God would allow me. Yeah. Okay. I know, you know, there's a lot of guys, you know, that do that, you know? Yeah. And... Uh-oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk, be talking about masturbation around your kids, I'm sorry. He died for a murderer. Yeah. He died so the Barabbas can go free. He did, I, I remember that, yeah. So he, he, he died for men to masturbate. He died for all the sinners and... To, well, that, that's, a, not, that's, a, that's a sin though, right? So he technically died for, for masturbating, right? God? Well, yeah, he can answer all your questions, too. He never talks but, to me, uh, though. Mike, Mike, sorry, Mike, uh... She, she gave me her cousin's number to talk about masturbation with. <laughs> I just... <laughs> the pastor's wife. Oh, oh, that deserves ten thumbs up, guys.